costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. When was the last time that Wendy Williams blacked out while she was on the air? Wendy's first husband, Burt Gregory, divorced her due of her addiction, which is what brought her to this stage in her life. I have to hand it to Miss Wendy. She did a very good job of trying to make us forget that Kevin Hunter wasn't really Miss Wendy's first husband. It was speculated that Wendy's violent addiction was to blame for the problems that they had in their marriage, and Burt went on to explain why he was forced to walk away from his very dysfunctional marriage. What exactly did he have to say about Wendy's terrible addiction, which ultimately led to the dissolution of their marriage? And why does Wendy behave as this part of her life never happened in the first place? In point of fact, Wendy didn't keep too much of a secret about what went on between her and Kevin. But why is she keeping such a low profile about what happened to Bert? It's possible that the fact that Bert knows so much about her pushed her to take the plunge and get married for the first time. According to what I've gathered, Bert is, or used to be, a sales and marketing expert who operates out of Charlotte, North Carolina. In addition to this, he was the leader of G2 Marketing, a company that has been exclusively devoted to digital advertising from the year 2010. When Wendy was working as a live broadcaster at Kissam, he was also employed there, and that's how they first met. After years of being good friends, they eventually developed romantic feelings for one another and were married. It is reasonable to anticipate that they will engage in conflict, miscommunication, and friction with one another. Just five short months after being married, Bert and Wendy went their own ways and began living in different locations. They had been married for a little over a year when they decided to end their relationship in 1995. And I was wondering whether you felt it strange that Bert wasn't in the movie about Wendy at all. It would be impolite to gloss over someone's first marriage if you were to film a movie about their life and release it for public consumption. When asked about her past marriage in her biopic, Wendy admits, Yes, I'm missing my first husband. This statement serves as a type of explanation for why she does not want to discuss it. To tell you the truth, there isn't all that much mystery around the beginning of a marriage that ended after just five months of being together. Wendy insists that there is nothing special about her relationship with Bert, despite the fact that it is obvious that a lot could be written about the two of them in the past and how they got together. Wendy only made a passing reference to Bert in her memoirs, and even then, it was to refer to him using a name that she invented, Robert Morris, I.I.E. She conceded that they weren't a good match for a long-term relationship, despite the fact that they made for a lovely picture together. Wendy asserts that the continual arguing started when he started to criticize her appearance, which included the way that she dressed as well as the clubs that she visited. The majority of them were people who worked in computer science, CEOs at various companies, and people who listened to her program. She had previously said that she openly despised all of these groups of people. Wendy loathed them due to the fact that they constantly harassed her with inquiries regarding well-known figures whenever she was in their company. One of the reasons why she detested them was because of this aspect of their character. In addition, Wendy claims that Bert abused her in her book. She even goes so far as to refer to their most recent dispute as the final quarrel. And she continues by saying, who knows what it was about, but I know for sure that this guy did something that I can never forgive. When I refer to someone as a big-time hustler, I mean someone who has started from the bottom and worked their way up, but they are fed up with this situation. Wendy also claims that, when they split up, Bert began making some fairly harsh things about her, which she took very personally and says she regarded it as a direct attack on her. In the end, he decided to dissolve their marriage by filing for divorce and requesting alimony so that he could continue to live at the same level despite the split. The reason for this is because Wendy went through something that was quite similar when she dated Kevin back when she was in high school. At the very least, it is how Wendy portrays the events that transpired throughout the occasion. On the other hand, if I may put it this way, if I had to surmise, I would suggest that Bert felt the end of the marriage was due to an entirely other reason. However, this is just my best guess. In 2019, around the time that Wendy checked into a treatment center, for some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. Bert gave an interview to Radar Online in which he reviewed their marriage and confessed the truth. In the interview, he also detailed the infidelity that occurred throughout their marriage. Around the same time, I found out that Wendy had been raised in a household where indulging in the use of alcoholic beverages was strictly forbidden. When Wendy was appearing on national television, she often blacked out during her appearances. In response to Radar's online questioning about Wendy, at first, Bert claimed that he had mistreated her and said that her infidelity was the primary cause of the dissolution of his marriage, in addition to her addiction to drugs and alcohol. He told me that after we broke up, complete strangers started calling me to tell me all kinds of personal things about their lives and the circumstances they had found themselves in. He stated this started happening shortly after our breakup. It was irrelevant to topic that was being discussed at that particular moment in time for a number of reasons. This that was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out, but you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. This information was provided to me by a few other persons who informed me that they had seen her in the company of other males. 
On the other hand, he did provide the information that he was acquainted with a man who worked in the entertainment field and that Wendy was having an affair with this man. He said that he knew this man since he worked in the entertainment industry. Despite this, he was extremely careful to conceal his actual identity so as not to put their relationship in jeopardy. He did this so that they may continue to be together. According to him, Wendy's severe addiction to the drug that she was misusing was the primary factor that led to the conclusion of their romantic connection. It is quite possible that Wendy concealed this knowledge from him when they were dating throughout the time that they were seeing one other. Bert vehemently denies having any knowledge of or familiarity with the allegations that have been made about her use of narcotics. After they had ended their relationship, he began to seriously contemplate the idea that her peculiar behavior may have been caused by her addiction to drugs or alcohol. However, he did not believe that this was the case. Wendy had a relapse in January 2022 as a direct result of the circumstances that were occurring in her personal life, Wells Fargo, out of concern that Wendy had lost her mind, canceled her bank accounts. In addition, the financial institution had grounds to suspect inappropriate influence, financial exploitation, or dementia in the customer. Wendy did, in fact, recount the whole event from her perspective, including all of the detail. My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money. This is After a string of episodes in which she was seen drinking in public, Wendy finally admitted that she needed help for her severe alcoholism and entered herself back into treatment for it in August of 2022. She attended counseling for a total of a month and a half. It seems that she never had any intention of reducing the amount of alcohol that she consumed, and the people in her social circle in New York made it possible for her to do so without facing any constraints. She was admitted to the hospital for two months, but once she was discharged, she said that her health had improved significantly since she had been there. However, a few months later, it was stated in the Sun that Wendy had been admitted to the hospital, that she had been released from the institution for one day, and that she had then been readmitted the following day. In addition to this realization, she came to the decision that she would not be taking part in the presenting program for the next Atlanta Women's Expo, which would take place on April 6, 2023. A sizable portion of her admirers began harboring the notion that she could be afflicted with a disease. As a result of the fact that Wendy's son Kevin Jr. as well as her brother Tommy have voiced worry over her health, it seems as if things are not going to proceed according to plan. At the very least, Wendy's ex-husband, Bert, is of the opinion that this is the case. Those who have been following Wendy's adventures for any substantial period of time will be aware that the difficulties Bert highlighted are not in any way original, in any sense. Wendy was really honest and open about her personal difficulties with drug misuse and the following path to sobriety that she had to go through. He embodied every negative connotation of the term addict. Everyone, from my co-workers to my supervisors, is aware of the fact that I consistently arrive at work early and remain late, but instead of terminating my employment, they just watch as I arrogantly put on my headphones, stride into the studio, and smoke on a cigarette while I make ratings. The addict's substance abuse was ultimately responsible for the dissolution of the marriage. There is, of course, the potential that one of the contributing elements that contributed to the decision of the pair to end their marriage was Wendy's allegations that Wendy's husband had abused her. This is a possibility that cannot be ruled out. Nevertheless, I am curious in your thoughts on Wendy's apparent disregard for the fact that she was married to someone else in the past. Please share your perspectives on this topic.